What if the simple touch of a button were enough to reduce the major symptoms of a disease like Parkinson's? Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative movement disorder that affects 3% of the population over the age of 60. Its major characteristic features include postural instability, rigidity, slowness of movement, and tremor. However, 50 to 90% of individuals with Parkinson's also suffer from a speech disorder that makes it difficult for them to be heard or understood in conversation. So currently, there's no cure for Parkinson's, but doctors have been wildly successful at developing interventions that target many of the major motor symptoms of the disease. One such intervention is known as deep brain stimulation, or DBS for short. DBS is now considered one of the standard adjunct surgical treatments for Parkinson's. The surgery involves implanting an electrode deep within the brain. Neurologists are then able to control the amount of electrical current sent to the brain by adjusting different parameters like frequency, voltage, and pulse width. And once programmed, it really is as simple as the touch of a button, button controlling the stimulator, for the patient to see a major improvement in many of the motor symptoms of the disease. So this is pretty great. Never have we been so successful at developing effective interventions to target neurodegenerative diseases as we have with Parkinson's. So what's the problem? Well, remember that I was telling you that many of these individuals also suffer from deficits in their speech. And difficulties speaking are often reported to be one of the most disabling aspects of the disease and can lead to things like social withdrawal and overall decreased quality of life. And these amazing interventions that we have for Parkinson's, like DBS, their effect on speech isn't so clear. In fact, DBS has been shown to sometimes lead to a worsening effect on speech with the stimulator on. So where does that leave us? Well, when the neurologists are programming these settings, they're doing so in order to reduce the major symptoms that you think of when you think Parkinson's. Things like shaky hands or unstable walking. But they're not thinking speech. In fact, the clinical settings that neurologists use when optimizing these parameters may be suboptimal for speech. However, there's the possibility of having more than one program setting available to an individual with DBS. My research is concerned with looking at all possible permutations of these different parameters and identifying combinations that are more optimal for speech. The hope is that one day we'll be able to provide individuals with Parkinson's who have received DBS an alternative setting, a better speech button, if you will, that they can use when they need. And so, while of course good health is never going to be as simple as the touch of a button, the more that we know about the effects of DBS on speech, the better we can fine-tune our interventions to address all of an individual's needs. Thank you.